Hey everyone, this is Vince from TTK with a little video for you. It's going to be a tutorial on how to have a nearly endless power supply. It's going to be using the Thermal Expansion Mod Pack, which you can find in the Tech It Mod Pack uh, using the Technic Launcher, which is what I play on. <clears throat> Tech It has a lot of cool stuff in it, but my favorite thing ever is Thermal Expansion. I could probably play Minecraft just with that mod alone. It's amazing. So what we have here today is the setup right here. Um, this stuff you don't really need to worry about. It's not part of the power supply. Uh, but what we're using here, what you're, what you're gonna need rather, are magmatic dynamos, uh, energy conduits. They don't have to be the redstone energy conduits, but these are the best ones. I'm um, using fluid up. Uh, this is for this is a pipe to move liquid. There are plenty of other alternatives, but these are kind of the best. And these are all part of thermal expansion, so there's that as well. You don't need any other mod to make this all work. And then magma crucibles, and then some hoppers and and and, and a chest. I'm using the iron chest. Uh, it's from a different mod, so you can just use a normal chest. Uh, but these are real big, so that's why I have them. Uh, if you're using the Tekka Pack, there are even bigger chests, I think, but this is just the one I use because it's cheap. It's just made out of iron. So basically, the flow, how everything's going, you have these uh, dynamos. They are powered by lava, as you can see. You can do that with the pipe, put lava in there, or you can just, just use a bucket from your hand. That's how you would need to start it off, just with a lava bucket. But the dynamos, uh, they, you know, like I said, they're powered by lava, and they have a pretty decent power output. So then they go into these power cables, and you have the cables going over to whatever machines you have, uh, but you want to have them first going into the magma crucibles. That way they have unrestricted uh, power flow. They have, you know, they're the first things that get powered, because you're going to need these to be powered. You don't want them to turn off. What the crucible does, uh, whatever block you put in it, it can be melted down into a liquid version. Uh, so in this case, we're using netherrack because that gets burned down into lava, which then gets piped out the back and into the crucibles. And that's how the crucibles get fueled. Is with these, or that's how the dynamos get fueled is by the crucibles. Now I think this is 18 cru uh, dynamos I have here. Yeah, if I can count. Uh, so you definitely want to have two crucibles. Is even with this setup, as you can see, there are a bunch of them that are turning off because there's not enough lava to be spread out between them. Um, I think two crucibles would have been okay, but I just didn't supply enough lava to begin with, so that was my fault. But I think two can handle it, but you probably want three, and definitely four, uh, once you start expanding the number of uh, dynamos that you have. But, so you have a couple hoppers that will suck the netherrack out of the chest and netherrack's pretty easy to get it's going to the nether with a diamond pick or for you are using the tech at mod pack uh, you can get something like a power tool which mines things super quickly so as you can see here you know power goes in here lava goes back and it's just a cycle pretty easy to do the only thing you need to worry about is supplying the netherrack which is fairly easy and then from there you just have whatever setup you have with machines, you have some energy cells, and so on. So, compared to anything else, like with using the tech at PAC, for instance, there's a lot of different things like nuclear reactors, there's other kinds of engines and power supplies. So, I would imagine a nuclear reactor can have a higher output of energy, and for the magma, magma for the dynamos, to equal that, you'd probably need a lot of dynamos, which would take a, a lot of space, but compared to the cost of this, this is probably the best way to go, and then it's also easy to take care of. I don't know, with the nuclear reactor, I don't know the fuel needed for stuff like that, but this is really easy to get, another rack, you know, and then it, it takes a while before that all runs out, and you can also have sort of like a backup system. Uh, with you can put like a pump in the nether to suck up lava and then you could get that back to the overworld with things like 
an ender tank so that'll be an easy sort of like emergency power like an emergency fuel if you need it or you can just do that instead of the crucibles but i don't know how quickly that gets it so i would just make sure you have crucibles but it's fairly easy mm, kind of cheap it's not necessarily like day one thing because uh, you need a lot of resources you need a lot of iron um and some other stuff to make these crucible or the the dynamos so they're not the uh, early game stuff but they are fairly cheap compared to everything else so that's about it for this setup i uh, hope you liked the video and i hope that was easy enough to understand to where you can implement this in your own game because it's pretty awesome it's the setup i use every single time if i make a new world so I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you like the video. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe so you can watch some other stuff. I will probably be making more videos like this in Minecraft. Uh, like Other short little videos in Minecraft. Some Skyrim stuff. Gonna try to start doing some uh, mod videos soon. So, just remember to like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.